What's up everybody? My name is Shadow Aaron and I'm going to be starting my first LP in addition to being a blind LP for the game Tomb Raider. My friend suggested and I figured, eh, why not? It'd be a good choice. And if I'm gonna start I may as well hit the ground running. So, new game. Uh, that was from a test run, even though it's a new game and everything. So this is, while it's being my first recording, it's actually going to be my second attempt for the first part of the game. Big normal, like I did last time. Oh, a and as a quick note, for cutscenes like this, I'm going to be, you know, quieting down, so, what we do, to let you see. Not who we are. I finally set out to make my mark, to find adventure, but instead, adventure found me. As it typically does, unfortunately. <laughs> moments when life flashes before us we find something something that keeps us going something that pushes us <laughs> okay, again, I've seen that far, but I will quiet down for cutscenes. I'm a firm believer that you need to see what's going on instead of just, you know, talking through cutscenes because then you miss everything. And if you miss details, then you can't figure out the story. Anyway, my problem with that beginning bit, you know, she's a sur well, she's probably not a survivor and everything yet, but, you know, in these kind of situations, why don't people look around? I mean, there's tons of everything going on, there's disaster, there's people injured, there's the storm. Why aren't they looking around to see, you know, someone can sneak up on me and murder me? Like, you could be walking down the street, and if you're not looking around, someone will pop out the bushes and shank you. Oh, what up? But yeah, see? She wasn't looking around, and she got kidnapped, or well, captured. There wasn't even anything on the bush, long um, bush beach to block someone from like seeing her I mean from seeing them so could have just like turned around and obviously seen the person but anyway now she's all strung up like a sacrifice and I can move left and right to just and build momentum Jonah! but yeah anyway as I mentioned before I played through like the first little bit of this game not that much but just a little bit and a skeleton, see? She's in the perfect place to get sacrificed. Anyway, for this first part, you got to use the control stick to swing back left and right to, you know, catch things on fire. And this is the part I really don't like because it's. Ah, I'm shaking. It's so. I can feel that from here. Like, if. 
I'm wondering what a metal spike's doing on the floor. But, you know, it's still bad. Oh. Regardless of anything, that's going to hurt. Walking around, walking around. I've got control now. I didn't call it a stumble. That wasn't me. <laughs> if that was me, I would have said it. I mean, I'm that kind of person. Oh, God. No. 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 See? See? That could have been her in just a little bit. About to be sacrificed. What is this place? But you know what? It wasn't. What Why? happened to you? Because she moved. Oh, oh hold on. Wait. Something. Yay! Got a torch. Oh, that was loud. Girl, you are very loud in this game. At least as far up until I've played. So, they, like, yeah. Everything that I did, I'm going to do in this first video. Then after that, it will be completely blind. Like, I won't know what I'm doing. And then it knocks the torch out. So, you know, you can use that survival instinct. If you've ever played any of the Batman games, like Batman Arkham City, Arkham Asylum, you know, that's kind of like detective mode. You know, you can use this fire to relight your torch, because the torch is actually pretty useful. Shit, this girl makes a lot of noise. Like, a lot of noise. You can use the A button to climb up. You know, use X, use the torch to light things on fire. It's pretty self-explanatory, you know. Again, seriously, she's just over here burning things, lighting things on fire. For being, trying to be all secretive and getting away, she's making a lot of evidence that she's moving around. But seriously. Oh, and a rock pillar's fallen. Crawl under. Why do this have the hell this doctor is? He does this like twice. And it's freaking weird. Uh huh. Trying to help me. Trying to help me. Trying to help me to an early grave. I do not understand. If you were there and you were trying to help me, why didn't you show yourself in the first place instead of sneaking up on me? It's so stupid. Oh yeah. If I'm talking right now, I'm a bit of a talker, especially when I'm talking to people. And as I'm talking to y'all, even though you can't exactly respond back, I'm going to continue to talk. <laughs> and considering this is a let's play, it should also be fun talking. But I won't talk mindlessly. Okay, sometimes I probably will. But you know, that's a lot of problem. Find a force of will, find a way out. Girl, it's a torch and there's water. What were you expecting? Okay, so you can see from our objective beacon that that's where I need to go, so I need to break out that way. So, again, we're going through here. Fire. Thank God. Relight our torch. It's a good idea to keep the torch lit for this first part. What you can do is, and since I know this, I, this, the first time I played did this like for my first test run, I was stuck for like five minutes, wondering like, what the hell do I do? No, it was more like ten. Like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Okay. It's actually really simple. Use the torch. Light this, and you light the other one too. So that way that thing can go up. You know, knocking debris into the water. Making again a whole bunch of noise with all that glass breaking. Just trying to get herself attacked again. But that's besides the point. Now over here, this is the part that got me stuck for 10 minutes because I got confused for a second. I was like, I'm supposed to be smart. But no, I decided to act stupid. And I hopped down. I timed that incorrectly. I do apologize, people. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, you come over here, you're supposed to jump to that thing. Damn it! I know what I'm supposed to do. It's just I'm so used to, like, games where you jump when you get to the edge. Oh, wait, no, I did that wrong. I'm supposed to jump from back here. Grab one. And what that does, that brings trash up there into that thing. You know, that trash comes in handy in literally just a second. So, once that trash is in there, go back up, go back around. Again, still making as much noise as possible. You know, alert the locals that you've escaped. And then you light this on fire with X, and you use Y to push it. Yeah, that had me confused. I'm like, this is such a simple puzzle, and I got stuck on this for 10 minutes. I feel fucking retarded. 
but such is life. <laughs> Yay! Experience! I'm not quite sure what the experience is for yet, but I guess I'm experiencing things. Walking through here, and the cave seems to be collapsing. Dead drop. <laughs> Now again, I couldn't be doing all this. My black ass would be dead. I'd be crushed by a boulder or something. Like, see, jumping across that, I probably fell. But she got this. Boulder, boulder. Ah, and this, this motherfucker again. Now see, right here, if you don't press the button, this is what happens. The rock fucking crushes you, and you die. That's what happened the first time. I was like, oh, shit, that's pretty brutal. <laughs> but luckily, it starts you off, like, right back here, and you just do it again. And, you know, shake him off with the control stick. Press Y, and instead, he gets crushed. Bam. <laughs> I know, I just thought it was kind of funny how they did that. Anyway, walls coming in and everything. Jump, 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 jump. Lose your torch and everything. Here's another part where I messed up. Like, I was pressing the buttons instead of the triggers, and like, I was sitting there for like a solid minute wondering what the hell is going on. Yeah, move side to side and dodge and crap and everything. While she's scrambling up. Move the control stick. Dodge. See, again, I probably would have died, but besides the point. Did she make it? <gasps> she made it! Oh, I'm so proud! I'm kidding. <laughs> of course she made it. If she didn't, then there'd be no game. Again, I'd be kissing the dirt. Cause, and I would be singing that one gospel song. I never could have made it! But you know, in a regular voice. Instead of a stupid voice. <laughs> Cause I never would have made it without Jesus. Come to think of it. Is she a religious person? Makes me also kind of wonder. Oh, and a couple of things. Since I read a little bit of the comic, which happens after this game, I have some slight context, like, of things that go on, but not very much. Yay! They put the title in! That's so great. And I've got camera control now, so I can look about for a bit. However, I am not heading in this direction. That is the wrong direction. It is down this cliff that I need to go. Tap. I tap that. Tap that left button. Uh huh. You can use the left button to like quick survey. Kinda like detective mode. The lifeboat. Well, it's exactly like it, you know, survival instead of multi millionaire. Speaking of which, how awesome is Batman? Really cool. I love me some Harley though. Harley is awesome. And we come up to our next challenge, walking across this rickety log. <laughs> okay. Take it slow. Okay, I wouldn't walk across this thing. I'd sort of like crawl across it. But you've got to be like really careful so you don't fall off. Yeah, see? Okay, that happened last time, so I think that's like a mandated stumble. There's nothing you can do to stop that. Okay. <laughs> it would have been sort of cliche if they did the whole the thing breaks after she gets across, but I digress. Continue onward. We are walking. And we must jump. Grab the edge. Yay, ledge grab. Mm -hmm. Anyway, walking uh, yeah. Into this cave. And there's a random ass plane. No clue what the fuck is doing here, but random ass plane. Well, considering it's an island, it's probably just like, you know, crashed here, people died, and the thing got stuck. Anyway. I can do this. Yes, yes you can. I couldn't. I'd, I'd probably be dead already. You know, I would have I would have been the one to get crushed by that boulder instead of the guy. But onward! Jump up! Extra grab. Yeah, there's a lot of button presses in this game. Yes, 
Yes, come on. Jump, jump. Oh yeah, and if you miss button press, you will die consistently. Like, there's no doubt about it, you will indeed die. Yay, survival! I will survive! By the way, I'm probably going to end up doing a bunch of song references. Just because it's how my thinking pattern works. Going around this edge. Wall scramble. Press A mid jump to scramble up flat walls. Yay! Getting our platformer on. Got that Mario swag. I'm kidding. I will never use that word again. I hate that word swag. Sam's pack. That's another thing. I probably would have broken my legs by now, too. Sam! They must have come this way. Or, you know, gotten dragged this way and just accidentally dropped it. Video camera. Because, of course, that's exactly what we need at this time like this. And a box of matches. Sam? Roth? Can anyone hear me? <laughs> no, of course not. Got to find them. When I first got that radio when I was first walking through, I'm like, please don't tell me this okay. is a silent hill kind of thing. I don't want it to be. <laughs> How does she not break something right there? She fell onto a solid rock surface. Signs of light. Take shelter from the storm. As I believe some people say, Mother Nature can be a heartless bitch. Mm -hmm. And, taking shelter, you walk into an obvious, you know, sort of den kind of thing. There's already fire pit hair, there's logs. You know. Looks abandoned. Of course it's abandoned. <laughs> That fresh rainwater that's done dripped off the cliffside. Poor dear. She's shivering. I almost shed a tear, if I could feel. <laughs> Is anyone listening? Please respond. Yeah, when I first saw that, I'm like, please don't be Silent Hill and, like, whenever it starts bringing there's monsters nearby, because I could. My heart couldn't take that. Well, it probably could. But, you know, setting up that fire with them twigs that she collected off screen, which were probably just nearby. And that book of matches with the one match. I hate when people leave one thing and just something. But, you know, one match, obviously very useful. <laughs> Another thing I've never understood in video games how things light on fire, like, super fast. Like this. It should have taken much longer. But. Again, if you don't want to be sitting there waiting all day for, you know, your fire to start. Oh. False hope. No love. China White. <laughs> Kidding, that's a song. Let's review the video camera. Cutscene, and I probably will talk a little bit during this for some minor details. Here's the soon-to-be world-famous archaeologist, Lara Croft, in her native habitat. She's on the hunt for the lost kingdom of Yamatai, home to the fabulous Himiko, mythical sun queen, and ancestor of yours truly. <laughs> Sam, this is serious. Oh, sweetie, I know. I'm just trying to lighten the mood here. Everyone's so on edge. What are you so worried about? I'm close to something. I'm sure of it. I just don't know if the others will listen. Or if that's a good thing with what you're close or to. even if they should. Lara, you know this stuff better than anyone. Seriously. I'm not just saying this to make you feel better. I trust you. Roth trusts you. You got this. Now let's take a break, okay? Okay. Okay. And Sam... Thanks. She's not always this serious, you know. Come on, tackle him! No, no, it's your child! How cooking. can you suggest I'm not serious about this expedition, Laura? It's not just Sam's family funding us. I put my savings on the line, too. We've all got some kind of stake in this. 
The funding won't last forever, Whitman. That's precisely why we should push east, not west. Uh, no one believes Yamata... Uh, no one believes Yamata is that far east. The books simply don't support it. Well, whoever wrote those books never found Yamata. I've talked to Roth about this. There's no point in following in other people's footsteps, Dr. Whitman. I refuse to bet my reputation on your hunch. I'm the lead archaeologist here. And when were you last in the field with a TV crew behind you? <laughs> got 30 years experience, two PhDs, one in East Asian history. So why don't you just stick to boats, Mr. Grimm? Ship, Dr. Whitman. It's a ship. You don't need a PhD to well, know that. Going east like will captain, take us directly into the Dragon's Triangle. That's where we need to go. Laura, my little bird. I'd follow you almost anywhere, but that place has a bad energy. Bad storms, more like, makes the Bermuda Triangle look like Disney World. <laughs> Sign me up. The stories about Queen Himiko say she could summon storms. Myths are usually based on some version of the truth. Indeed. What if Yamatai was somewhere in the Triangle itself? Well, look, this is the satellite imagery from inside the Dragon's Triangle. That doesn't look good. If it's wet, I can sail on it. Oh, don't tell me you're <laughs> seriously <laughs> concerned. Reyes is right. We don't have the funds to piss about. It's now or never. Lara's offering fresh ideas and a plan. I'm the captain here. It's my decision. We're going into the Dragon's Triangle. Ooh. Why am I even here? I don't know. No one likes you. I don't like you, and I just met you. This is a small recap of the beginning events, you know, before the ship got torn in half. <laughs> but... That's just like, she's cold. But, you know, well, no, she's not cold anymore, but there's that fire. Hold up. Did she leave I that can't fire? Just sit here. Yeah. Smokey the Bear would have a fit. I've got to find something to eat. Yes, Woman vs. Wild, search for food. Yeah, Smokey the Bear would be having a fit. She left that fire. Okay, some quick little, you know, context kind of things. And this is what I learned from the comic. Like,. Sam and Laura trust each other so implicitly, because, like, the two of them are fucking, like, they're dating, for real. And that's why Laura comes back to this island in the comics. But, um, anyway, like, the rest of the characters, they appear there as well. So, like, whether they be as flashbacks or etc. So, you get a little bit of context, even if you haven't played this game. But I am coming up soon on 23 minutes, about 22 and a half. So, I guess this would be a good place to start. Now, this is exactly the same place that I saw when I did my test video, so everything from here on out actually is blind. But, eh, I'm looking forward to it. I needed a nice challenge. Mm, I haven't been doing anything. Lord, I need more, something to do. So, I have been Shadow Aaron, and this is my first video LPing Tomb Raider. rest of it will be blind. If you like the video, hit like. And... I suppose you can hit subscribe if you want to as well. And I shall see you next time. Thank you. Bye.